good everyone so basically how I did the Squirtle video so you can see the main comps here so if you go into the pre comp there's actually multiple comps um, I probably should have named this so you could see it but we'll start from the first one so the first one is going to be the track motion under tracker or stabilize motion whatever um, track whatever you want then the next comp will be warp stabilizer then the next comp will be your speed ramping Oh, actually, this one was just adjustments. So the next one, if you're not doing this, um, I was just doing a zoom in, zoom out. If you're not doing this, then you can skip this. Um, and then just make that comp the speed ramping comp. And then the next comp will be the 3D layer comp. So the reason we do the speed ramp in the comp is because the turtle is synced to the song. So you don't really want to adjust that. So before you do all this, you have to make a 3D layer first, right here, by clicking the cube. And that'll convert your footage into a 3D layer, and you can move it on the Z-axis. So basically here, um, we had our layer, we 3D tracked it, so you have your tracking points. And then for the Squirtle, uh, these are all the adjustments I did, but what you want to do is Key Light. That'll remove the green screen. And then I also did a uh, Drop Shadow. So for the Drop Shadow, I added a Gradient, Fill, and Gaussian Blur. So when you fill, it'll take it from... Actually, you don't even need the fill if you do the Gradient. Um, it'll have the reflection see So first thing you want to do is blur that it's just a shadow and then you can either do fill to just make it solid black Or you can do a gradient ramp which will make it look like the car shadow depending on your footage And then all you want to do is go to your 3d layer Find a point where you want the animation to be Let's Say like right here you'll click it or you could select a few right click create solid and camera so when you create the solid, you'll have a solid that's masked there. Press P, and then go to your Squirtle or Turtle, whatever it's called. Uh, press P, and you copy the solid position to the Squirtle. And um, you'll see it basically lines it up with where you chose. And lastly, all I did was mask out the mountains over here with Rotobrush, and then I put the Turtle behind that. And then added some blur and color graded it to fit the scene. And that's the breakdown on how I did this video. If you want to learn more about Adobe After Effects, I teach over 400 people everything I know, and the online courses are available on my website.